Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, I bought a couple of these watch boxes off uh, AliExpress. Um, they're quite inexpensive, I think they're like £20 a piece really. And um, the only issue is, is if you've got quite, if you've got larger wrists, like me, I've got 8 inch wrists, the cushions that they come with are really sized only for somebody with maybe a 6.5, maybe 7 inch wrist. Um, so of course, if you've got a bracelet that's been sized for your wrist, you're going to have this problem. And um, yeah, <laughs> I mean the idea is, is that the watch is, watch is supposed to fit quite snug um, uh, against the cushion, then it slots quite nicely into the watch box. So yeah, that's no good. So what I've done is this, let's just put that down a sec, <coughs> is I've made some of these. Um, and what I've done, as you can see, I've just taken the original cushion and I've just made it this... Um, this little uh, piece using a bit of, well I'll show you how I made it in a minute, a bit of denim and a bit of old yoga mat, um, not my yoga mat I have to say, um, and, and it's just made the cushion that little bit bigger. So let's just undo this watch and I'll show you how it fits. Let's get that lined up. Okay. Bracelet. There you go. So now it doesn't move around. And it's quite nice. The denim's actually quite nice. It, it, it you know it contrasts with the watch. Um, yeah. Of course, then we can just slot it into the watch box. There we go. Right then. So let's get on and make one. So for the padding. I've got this um, this old yoga mat. I've actually been using it when I've been working on the motorbike, um, and I've just cut a strip, cut strips off. Okay, and I've cut them off so the strip is slightly narrower than the actual cushion. Okay, and so it it just about touches around the back. Let's have a look. Yeah, when it's together, it just about touches on the back. You obviously, you don't want it overlapping because it would be too thick, won't it? But you know that. All right, <clears throat> so you cut these pieces to size. They cut quite easy just with a pair of scissors. All right, next, <coughs> the material of your choice. I mean, what I've used here is um, <laughs> an old pair of jeans. I cut the legs off to make a pair of denim shorts. Not denim short shorts. <laughs> no. um, so I've got had this material left over. So this has got what we're going to use to cover the um, to cover this bit. All right. So I suppose it doesn't matter if there's a bit of a that, but that's where the knee was. Don't we? We're worried about that, are we? Okay. So that's cut slightly oversized, right? Because we need to fold these edges over, and we're going to trim these ends in a minute. But we'll just get to that in a bit. So let's start with I've got a hot glue gun. Right, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to glue on the back of here just a little bit and put that in place. And then the same at the other end. I did I did make a couple of these before actually, and, I, and I've changed it how I've made it as I've been going along. As you do, you know, you find a slightly better way, don't you? Um, so we'll just let that glue go, go off for a little bit, right? Um, and then we can trim this down to size. So for this bit, we're just going to cut along here. Like that. And then this end, we're going to leave it a little bit longer. bit longer and then we're going to cut into here and across here so we're going to cut this like cutting this like the square out of this corner this is the back of the cushion so don't you know don't go too crazy if you, if you don't do it too accurate it doesn't matter so much um, all right so we've got that Okay, right. Now what we need to do is we need to glue these pieces onto here. So again, with the hot glue gun, 
with the hot glue gun. Let's just put a, a thin bead along here. Doesn't have to go too crazy. Just a thin bead of hot glue along there, like that. And we're just going to fold this over into place and put it over on the table. It's a bit cooler as well, helps it go off. Just put a little bit of pressure on there. Okay. Then you need to sort of pull this material so it's a little bit tight. You don't want it too baggy on the front because if you leave it too loose, you'll get it'll be all baggy. Okay, so let's pull this over a little bit. Okay, good. A bit of hot glue. That'll do, and then we can fold this one over. Just hold that for just a few seconds, okay? And then, yeah, like I say, the coolness of the table will help the glue go off. Um, so about the background noise. Um, and there we have it. Right, now, in my early prototype, I had to try and um, hold these in place. Okay, and you see that you've got that flap there. I just wanted to hold it in place. And what, what you can do, you can just put the hot glue on and glue it in place, okay? But what I did, uh, what I did on the last couple, I just put a couple of staples in there. Um, obviously not where the bracelet's going, but sort of on the outside edges. You, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do this, but it, it just seemed to help things along when I was gluing it. So I'm going to put a staple in here. Okay, put this whole staple gun. And this is looking terrible. <laughs> and put a staple in here, right, just to hold it in place. Okay, and then what we can do, then what we can do, we can get a bit of hot glue again. Just put a bit of hot glue over here. Yeah. And fold this tab down. And again, just hold it onto the table. Just try and hold it in place a little bit. You know what it's like using denim as well, that the, the material is going to fray a little bit in places. So let's have a little look. Okay. Yeah, we've got a few hairy bits hanging out. So let's just get a few bit of them. A few bits and pieces. Look, just tidy it up a bit. Let's trim it up a bit. All right. It's okay. It's not too bad, is it? No. Right. So there we go. It's one cushion. Let's try it on the watch then. Get the watch box back into view. Let's try it on this one, this bar boss. Of course, this has got a strap, so you can, of course, you can tighten it up as much as you want, can't you? It's got a big old watch, isn't it? There we go. Just got that in place. And that's it. So yeah, I hope you found this, this helpful, um, and yeah, if you've got a watch box that's the same, you know, and, and you need the cushions made a little bit bigger, then yeah, why not? Okay folks, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.